The member for Mallee. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Regional Health, Regional Communication and Local Government. Will the minister please update the House on how the Morrison-McCormack government <coughs> plans to protect regional, rural and remote communities from the COVID-19 pandemic through a safe and effective rollout of vaccines? The Minister for Regional Health, Communications and Local Government. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. And I'd like to thank the member for Mallee for her question and acknowledge uh, her lifelong commitment to the health of the people of the Mallee region long before she came to this place and since she has become a member of this House. Uh, following on from the Health Minister's answer uh, just then, I want to assure, assure, reassure the people of regional Australia that the vaccine rollout uh, will be nationwide and that, uh, that the, there is no uh, discrimination in the timing uh, from the larger uh, capital cities to the regions. The Health Minister just mentioned that next week the rollout starts uh, protecting uh, aged care residents and workers and frontline health workers. Uh, that is across the entire continent. It is not just uh, in the capital cities. And, and there's a, Mr Speaker, Regional Australia has done very, very well through this pandemic. They, uh, the communities have managed to keep themselves Probably some of the safest places on this planet has been in regional Australia. That, that's not a fluke. That's because the communities of regional Australia have taken COVID-19 seriously. They've reacted accordingly. Uh, and they've done that because, despite their success, some of these communities are some of the most vulnerable communities health-wise we, ha health we have in this country. And that's why uh, uh, the, we, we have got the logistics. Uh, we, uh, the Deputy Prime Minister and I saw on the weekend the capacity of DHL to deliver these vaccines to the four corners of this country in a condition uh, that is uh, 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 you know, the same as if they were going a short distance. Uh, Lynn Fox will be uh, involved with the AstraZeneca rollout as well in some states. <clears throat> and so that uh, when, when the, uh, the rollout happens, it will be done in a number of ways. Uh, uh, the expressions of interest have closed with general practice. They're being assessed at the moment. Discussions at the moment with state governments as to how their facilities are going to chime in for this. And also, uh, uh, not long behind that, we'll be doing arrangements with the pharmacies that have shown a lot of interest, as well as Aboriginal control medical centres and, uh, uh, and, in some cases, maybe flying squads that will come in. Uh, Mr Speaker, Regional Australia not only has been the safest place uh, probably on the earth over the last 12 months, but has also uh, played its part in keeping the economy of this country running. Regional Australia has underpinned the economy of Australia over, over the pandemic, which has enabled this government to do what it's needed to do to protect Australians. And so it's important uh, that the people of regional Australia are protected so they continue on that vital role of keeping this country moving.